What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk a little bit more in depth about some of the stuff coming with the second part of the midseason update. Uh, I made a video about this yesterday, uh, talking about some other things that are coming to the game uh, in February, around February the 4th. And this is going to kind of be the second part of the midseason update for season one. Before I get into all the details, be sure, if you're not subscribed, to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And, of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now, I have probably played Zombies more in this game than I have in any other past Call of Duty title. And I know a lot of you out there are massive fans of uh, kind of the Zombies in general. I talked a little bit yesterday about the new map coming to the game, which is Firebase Z. But another thing that uh, Treyarch did talk about that's going to be coming out with this is a new perk. Really not a new perk, but a remastered perk, Tombstone Soda. They said they wanted to kind of look at all of the perks in game, you know, that have been in past zombie titles and kind of rework them. So what they're going to do with this one is unlike the kind of the Tombstone Soda and Black Ops 2, the new and improved Tombstone Soda will now transform the player into a shadow within the Dark Aether. Uh, after being downed in this shadow form you'll be equipped with weapons that will help you help you kind of give it give you a fighting chance to revive yourself however if your health is uh, reduced to zero while you're in that shadow form you will be dead now of course they do have some upgrades you know kind of like every single perk does you can upgrade them with the crystals uh the first upgrade is shadow form can regenerate health the second upgrade will be increased down duration to 60 seconds and the third upgrade on death drop a tombstone stash that saves your weapons equipment and resources and that is a very big uh perk kind of upgrade in my opinion because if you're playing with a big group of people you go down you die you know you're always having to go back get your weapons again do all that stuff you know get everything going again kind of like you started off but if you're deep into rounds that's kind of annoying so that uh that that third upgrade on death drop a tombstone stash that saves your weapons equipment and resources will be a really really big thing of course a lot of this was kind of somewhat similar to the black ops 2 version but like i said that upgrade of being able to uh kind of be into this this form where you're almost invisible and going around and being able to use powerful weapons to kind of survive and revive yourself is a pretty neat uh, kind of addition. They're also going to be adding in two uh, score streaks from multiplayer. They've been doing this, you know, kind of over the time period. The artillery strike and the na uh, napalm strike will be added in uh, into the game as well when this update comes out on February the 4th. So Zombies is definitely looking, uh, you know, kind of like it's going to be adding more and more stuff each season, which I'm sure a lot of people are really excited about. Because I know a lot of people out there play Zombies all the time. They may not even play multiplayer. So I know a new map, new perks, that kind of thing. Of course, adding some more score streaks will probably interest a lot of people. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're a big zombie fan. I've been playing a good bit by myself. Uh, it's usually kind of play solo. I have a few friends that'll play kind of here and there with me sometimes. But I usually play a lot of solo rounds. And now I'm not great at it by any means, but it is still very enjoyable. And I am interested to see this new map in action. And of course, uh, the Tombstone perk returning. I think that's going to be pretty enjoyable uh, being able to use that, you know, uh, something something that's kind of got a little bit of a nostalgia, but at the same time, you know, a little bit uh, kind of revamped, I guess you would say, uh, from what I remember uh, from Black Ops 2. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.